Hello, everyone. I welcome you here again. So today we have Ms. Nidhi Kumari with us. So welcome, Nidhi. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So Nidhi is currently a research scholar in the area of HRM and OB from IIT Jodhpur. So Nidhi, we want to start with your academic journey. Please tell us. All right. Uh, so, sir, I'll start uh, my academic journey in a chronological order. That what I prefer. That I had my beat. I mean, tenth uh, board and twelfth board in a CBAC domain uh, from Ranchi, Jharkhand, from Devi Kapilde Public School and Greenland Public School, respectively. Uh, post my twelfth graduation in maths, a uh, post my twelfth board in maths and science, I opted for BTech in computer science engineering from Silicon Institute of Technology. So there I studied for four years on tried to understand all the computers nitty gritty and got opportunity to work, you know, on some big uh, 500 companies like Infosys and some consultancy firm like But as my inclination towards, uh, you know, management domain after looking the people, you know, working, taking decisions and all. So therefore I decided to, after working for two years, I decided that no, I should now go ahead uh, for a management uh, degree. So then I went to IMT Hyderabad. Am I audible? No? Yes, yes, audible. Yes. Okay, so then I went to IMT Hyderabad and completed my PGDM in uh, majors in HRM, Human Resource okay. Management and Marketing domain. Okay. So there I got placement into, you know, met a, one company uh, as a research consultant. Uh, so there I worked for around one year. And then since I believe that, no, I had a flair of academic. So I then went to MICA for as a research assistant and I worked there for two long years. And I had this, uh, you know, little flair of research when I was in IMT. So I was the only student to write a conference paper while studying and doing my PGDM. So I tried converting my dissertation paper into a conference paper under the supervision of or guidance, you can say, Dr. Rappoy So he's my mentor as well. So he guided me a lot. So from there, my flair of research and academics that was inside me and started, you know, coming out of there. So then I switched my profile from, you know, BTEC to management, from management to academics. And now I'm pursuing my PhD from ID to in organization dynamics area. Okay, that's wonderful. So do you want to share something about the selection procedure at IIT Jodhpur? Let's say somebody wants to apply there for the PhD. Uh, so, so there are multiple ways you can, you know, apply at IIT Jodhpur, which is, as you, know, you know, you have qualified UGC net or you have some scholarship, uh, national scholarship or uh, different scholarship that you have. If you have, then you can use those scholarship to apply over there. Apart from this, IIT Jodhpur also accepts CAD, GMAT, uh, you know, uh, uh, marks as well for applying there. So once you apply there and you got selected for the interview process, so you have an interview process where uh, at my time, uh, I remember that we were given different, you know, research paper to study and from different domains. For example, if I'm applying in uh, HROB area, so I'll be getting some paper of top journals, A star journals into, you know, a paper to study. Uh, similarly, for a person applying in finance, economics, they will get their top best journals or papers so like that and in the interview they do ask some questions related to that that's totally their call they do ask they sometimes do not ask with some of the friends they do not ask any research based questions from the paper but in my interview they did you know uh, went big inside those paper and ask the questions from those papers they have shared so it is a mixed kind of thing totally depends how the interviewer and the professors they are you know uh, looking out of your efficiency and knowledge over there and once you are done with the interview they will share the result uh, that you get on their website and then you can get to know whether you are selected or not okay uh, since a lot of scholars are looking to publish their research work in different journals so do you want to share something about how to find the correct journal or who are the reputed journals uh see uh for my domain, if I uh, like would like to share my experience and we follow ABCC ranking system. So uh, that the rank journals, top journals, they are easily available on 
Google. So a student can or a research scholar can easily download the list of top journals like Academy of Management, Academy of Management Review, and also they can get the list of journals and then they can try uh, go for the Google Scholar and type the topic they are looking for plus the general link. So then they will be able to find the journals. Uh, most of the paper are available on Google Scholar. But yes, I do agree. You have to take subscription uh, for some of the paper. But you can find some paper on Google Scholar as well. Okay. Okay. So a lot of scholars are looking to, you know, uh, present their paper in conferences. So recently I saw that uh, IIT Jodhpur, Jodhpur has organized MDC, Management Doctoral Colloquium. So do you want to share something, you know, what is the difference between uh, conferences and colloquium? Anything you want to share? Hello. Uh, yes. I think I lost. Am I audible? I lost your voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are audible yeah. now. Yeah, I was saying that a lot of scholars, you know, publish their, you know, present their research work in uh, conferences. So recently I saw that uh, IIT Jodhpur organized MDC, Management Doctoral Colloquium. So what is the difference? What are, you know, what are the opportunities for the researcher to present there? What is the, what are the things? Do you want to share something? Okay. E See, for the man, uh, it was our first uh, MDC uh, curriculum that happened recently, uh, last week only. So there, uh, you know, we invited the researchers across, you know, the domain to come, uh, doctoral scholars across the management domain, or you can say across the country or across abroad to showcase, you know, themselves, uh, what the paper they are working forward to, they are, uh, you know, studying and there were different domains out there through which they have applied and there was a selection, uh, I mean, process was there. There was a reviewer. Uh, uh, there was a reviewer panel where they review the paper. They gave you, you know, the constructive feedback, which I can always go back and look together and try working or improvising your paper. Plus, it also offers you, you know, a lot of networking domain as well. So you get to know a lot of people working in that domain. And you also get to interact with some good, you know, uh, professors in that domain because I have seen that IIT Jodhpur have invited, you know, a very esteemed, respected faculties across the countries and from the abroad. And it was very nice listening to them. Their one talk is going to change your life. I can definitely say this with my experience. So those kind of things you get to, you know, uh, when you participate in such kind of curriculum, you try to, you know, get a vast amount of knowledge from those curriculums specifically and the best part was that it was online as well so you can easily participate from your uh, respective place and utilize this uh, opportunity okay okay that's wonderful so what i understood is conferences is for all the researchers either a research scholar as well as for the faculties but for the management doctoral curriculum is mostly for the research scholars who are doing currently phd is, is it correct Yes, yes. So those be, uh, students must be enrolled some, you know, uh, good institute across, you know, global wise, and then they can come forward and present the paper. Okay, that's wonderful. So is there anything else you want to share with all the viewers? Um, I would only like to say some uh, to all my viewers that uh, some of the advice that I used to get from my professors, I strictly believe uh, that uh, research is something that you have to keep uh, patience. And one of my faculty have said that learning and unlearning, it happens par uh, parallelly. So research is something that you might have, uh, you will come across something which you believe that you were knowing. But when you will be studying and, you know, seeing it from a different perspective, you will see a very different view. So you must be ready to, you know, unlearn the thing and then rerun the thing if required. So this this entire process take a lot of, you know, your time, your energy, your patience. So it is very important for a person to, you know, to be patient and be updated with the thing and invest in their own, you know, learning things. Maybe not only the research, but try to be positive, do something that make them happy, make them positive, because you cannot uh, study or do the research with a lot of things on your mind. So it is very much important to be positive and optimist as, as well. Yes, well said. So thank you so much, Nidhi, for sharing your learning and experience with all of us. So thank you so much. Thank you, so, thank you sir. Thank you so much.